what Barney says. <laughs> Hello again to all my friends. I'm glad you came to play. Our fun and learning never ends. Here's what we did today. Don't you just love watching plants grow? You can plant your very own seeds in a cup, just like Sean did. Or put pretty flowers in a garden outside your home. Flowers come in many different colors. Red, white, yellow, even purple, like me. <laughs> your family can find everything for your garden at the plant store. They sell flowers and seeds for many different kinds of plants that grow fruits and veggies. <laughs> yum, yum. You can even buy a flower pot to decorate and give to a special friend. We sure had fun with our feet today, didn't we? <laughs> you can make silly shoes from shoe boxes just like we did. Or play a shoe store. <laughs> I just love my dancing shoes. Do you have a favorite pair of shoes to wear when you dance? There are so many different kinds of shoes. And they always come in twos. We use colorful bows and shoelaces to make Baby Bops and BJ's old shoes very special. You can do the same for yourself or a friend you love. People live in all sorts of different homes. You could draw a picture of your home today. Animals have different kinds of homes too. A turtle can use his shell as a home. Have you ever pretended to be a cowboy or a cowgirl? Home on the range, camping under the stars? It's fun to play house too. Pretending to make a yummy dinner. Or tucking your baby dolls all snug in their beds. After your pretend bubble bath, or a real one, don't forget to brush your teeth. <laughs> Stella the Storyteller came to visit and told us a special story about two brothers. Carlos learned that sharing a room with a sister or brother makes it a very special place. And you know what? I think you're very special too! We sure learned a lot visiting a fire station today. Our new friend, Firefighter Frank, and his dog, Chief, showed us that a firefighter's clothes might be too big for you now. But if you exercise, someday you can grow up to be a firefighter. Please remember, don't ever play with matches. And if you see a fire or smell smoke, tell a grown-up right away and get out of the building as fast as you can. These are very important safety rules because I want you to be safe from fires. I was really surprised to be the special guest at the party today. <laughs> Isn't it fun to plan a party? You can make invitations and then put them into the mailbox, just like we did. You'll love shopping for the things you'll need. Better make a list so you won't forget anything. You'll find lots of party things at the supermarket. We found blueberry muffins at the bakery. Mm -mm -mm. The party room will look pretty with decorations you and your friends make. And your party will be even more fun when you surprise a special friend. You know what? You're my very special friend. Wasn't it fun learning more about our world today? The umbrella dance from Cambodia was really special. I just love the dancers' pretty costumes and umbrellas. We saw lots of other colorful costumes and clothes. Many kinds of homes. And different musical instruments from countries all around our world. Stella's story about the little red hen was
We sure had fun going on a scavenger hunt today. <laughs> you can go on your very own scavenger hunt and look for things that are purple, like me. <laughs> or even red, like the little red wagon that Baby Bob loves to ride. Did you have trouble telling Ashley and Alyssa apart too? Well, that's because they're twin sisters. Twins are two babies born at the same time from one mommy. Sometimes twins look exactly alike, but each is special in his or her own way. Just like you are. We had so much fun playing with our new and old friends today, didn't we? Sometimes when you move to a new house or even to a new school, you can miss your old friends the way Kenneth did. But moving can be a fun and exciting time too, meeting new friends. Derek and Tina came back to visit and told us about their new school. <laughs> we remembered all the good times we had together by making a memory book. You can make one for a friend or family member too. You can draw pictures for it or make handprints, or even add photographs of special times together. It's a great way to show friends that you love them. Min was trying to find a good home for a puppy she couldn't keep. Wasn't he cute and cuddly? <laughs> we painted posters to find a new family for the puppy. Sean wanted other animals to have a good home too. He built a bird village with places for birds to eat and sleep. And he recycled old things his family didn't need anymore. Tiny wrens will love making a nest in that old shoe. <laughs> and the puppy will love the nice doghouse we built for him. But he was most happy because Julie adopted him and made him part of her family. She'll give him lots of love. There are so many different ways to enjoy music. You can sing along or play a musical instrument. Tasha played the piano with Mr. Boyd. Baby Bob loves to dance to music. Oops, she accidentally made a mess. Sometimes a room can look so messy you don't know how you'll ever clean it up. But when friends help friends, a big job can be fun. You can help at home by sweeping or picking up your toys, or emptying waste baskets into the trash can. You can practice learning shapes while picking up blocks. What shape is Baby Bob holding? That's right, it's a triangle. Tasha and Sean put every letter in the right place in the alphabet puzzle. They sure know their ABCs. Wasn't Mr. Boyd surprised when he saw how quickly we cleaned up the classroom? He had enough time to play in his concert. But before he left, he played a special song just for us. That was a nice way to say thank you to all of his friends. Did you try to guess everybody's pets like I did today? Julie likes to take her puppy Scooter for walks, but she always keeps him on a leash so he'll be safe. Scooter tickled my toes when he sat on my feet. <laughs> oh, puppy, puppy. It was fun singing about the tricks a doggy does. Can you roll over? Oh, very good. Fluffy the kitten was nice and soft. Meow. We met three goldfish that were super, d, duper. And we met Kathy's parakeet, Priscilla. Do you remember what color she is? That's right, she's green. Hop, hop, hop. We pretended to be big bunnies. And Snuggles came back to Kenneth. He really loves his bunny. I loved seeing everyone play together today. Ring toss is such a good game because we can take turns. We found lots of things to help us pretend we were all on a ship in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> BJ just loves to be the lookout, doesn't he? <laughs> you can be the lookout, too. Or the captain of the ship, blowing your whistle. Stella's visit was such a nice surprise. Her story about the fisherman and his wife taught us that we shouldn't ask for more than we need. 
and she's right, because there's always plenty for everyone when we share. Did you enjoy our visit to the deep blue sea? Oh, I sure did. <laughs> Some fish have pretty colors. Some have different shapes. This one looks like a star, doesn't it? It's a starfish. Wasn't it fun when we surprised Baby Bop with all those bubbles? <laughs> bubble, 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 bubble. <laughs> the best part of playing with friends is that we can share our toys and all the fun. I'm glad animals have homes where they can be safe. But animal homes are very different from ours. Spiders spin webs with such pretty shapes. Beavers use sticks to make their homes in the water. Prairie dogs love to play by the holes they make in the ground. And who's that swinging near her home in the trees? That's right, it's a monkey! <laughs> a turtle carries its home on its back, and it can hide in its shell. It sure was fun pretending to catch bees, buzz. <laughs> but remember to stay away from real bees. They can sting. Ouch. Tasha was afraid she'd lost her locket. But a squirrel took it. He wanted something shiny to put in his cardboard box house. Tasha was glad everyone helped her look for her lost locket. When friends help, that's another way we know they love us. Sometimes rainy days make us sad because we can't go outside to play. But there are lots of things you can do indoors to have fun. Have you ever pretended to camp out and tell stories? You can read books or do the limbo with friends. How low can you go? <laughs> Tasha looked very pretty in the dress she made out of our parachute. It's fun to be a ringmaster in a pretend circus. Min was a dancer. You could be the lion tamer. Counting these sheep helped Jason fall asleep. Then they went right back into their storybook. Drawing pictures is fun on any kind of day. You can draw a mouse like this one. Maybe when the rain slows down, you can go back outside under a big umbrella with friends you love. Isn't it fun to play games with your friends? Hide and seek is one of my favorites, because you get to count to ten first. Then look for a friend who's hiding. <laughs> Did you guess the animals by the sounds they make too? You can make masks and pretend to be your favorite animal, like a crocodile, or an elephant, or even a tiger. Ooh. The kitty cats that live in our houses are in the same animal family as the big cats that live in the wild. We learned that tigers have stripes, leopards have spots, and cheetahs can run faster than any other animal. Do you remember what Stella's story of the lion and the mouse taught us? That's right, you're never too small to help. Imagining what you want to be when you grow up is much more fun when you're wearing a hat. <laughs> Do you have funny hats to wear when you pretend with your friends? BJ tried to carry the toys all by himself, but he learned that sometimes it's better to ask a friend for help. BJ and Baby Bop both wanted to be the train engineer, but they had more fun when they took turns, didn't they? Fruits and vegetables are so yummy, and they're good for us. <laughs> we made music and marched in a band, and we even exercised by hopping up and down. Ooh. Don't forget Stella's story about the little blue engine that kept repeating, I think I can, I think I can, as it carried toys and good food over the mountain to the children. Have you ever ridden in the car and visited the places I did today? Like the car wash? Or the cleaners? Or the drive through window at your favorite restaurant? Mm. My favorite is Sean's Snappy Snacks. 
It's fun to sing along with songs on the car radio. Oh, but don't forget to buckle your seatbelt. I want you to be safe. Have you ever sailed a toy boat in your bathtub? <laughs> or pretended to row a boat with friends? There are lots of different kinds of boats. Small boats like kayaks, or canoes, or motorboats. And big boats with tall sails, like the one we sailed to Coco Island. <laughs> Wasn't the island beautiful? <laughs> And we met a parrot that talked. We looked for a hidden treasure on the island, but the best part of the trip was sharing an adventure with friends. <laughs> Isn't it fun pretending to drive trucks around? <laughs> you can load them with blocks for a pretend city, then build a restaurant, and make fruit salad for your friends to eat. <laughs> BJ had fun wearing hats today. He pretended to be lots of different people. But he loves his little red hat the most. Kites come in so many different shapes and colors, don't they? <laughs> Ooh, have you ever flown a kite with friends on a windy day? Ooh. It's fun to fly paper airplanes, too. BJ sent us a note on a paper airplane today. Now that's what I call airmail. <laughs> Wasn't BJ surprised when I took him up for a ride in my plane? Ooh, you can have just as much fun pretending to take a trip on an airplane. You can be a passenger and match the number on your ticket to your seat number. Or you can be the flight attendant, serving snacks to the passengers while they look out the window. Or you can be the pilot and fly your imaginary plane anywhere you like. <laughs> the next time you see a butterfly, remember Stella's story about the three butterflies that loved each other. And remember, I love you.